Alright, in this test we're going to be using our multimeter to measure the voltages across our resistor, um, our CBR in the input and across our um, primary coil and across our two resistors at the back all of the uh, known values. The first thing we, in this test um, we found another sweet spot in the transformer after some searching 10.3 kilohertz uh, 12 volts peak to peak um, this is the power input um, of course we will obtain that power input from our measurements so um, first thing we're going to do is make sure that our DMM is going to be reading nice smooth waveforms and not some jittery mesh mess uh, 10 kilohertz um, as you've seen, or well, 10.3 at the moment, but as you've seen in the last video, that meter was doing quite well, even at 20 kilohertz. Uh, okay, so we're going to use our scope just to make sure the waveforms are nice and smooth for our meter to read. As you can see, they are. And we'll go across the CVR. So quite neat. We'll check the other side, of course. Once again, very neat. And cross our load resistor. Once again, very neat. So our meter should be spot on. We've done the measurements with the scope. And now we're going to do some measurements with the meter and see what we come up with. So, AC voltage on the meter. We will first measure across our CVR to get our current. We have 126 millivolts. So, V over R1 is 126 MV. And of course that um, R1 is our uh, 10.3 ohms. And this will give us our current value. So now unlike the scope we can actually measure the voltage um, across the coil itself. And we don't have to subtract the voltage drop um, we get across that uh, CVR. So we have 1.435. So V over primary equals 1.435. So once we obtain our current using Ohm's law, we simply multiply that current by that voltage to give us our power in, which we will do after our measurements are done. Okay, so now we are going to measure across our 10.3 ohm resistor which is uh, V over R2 and we have 157 millivolts there and then we will measure V over R3 1.285 1.285 millivolts. Um, and we know R2 is also 10.3 ohms, and we know R3 is 98.4 ohms. So once again, simple ohms law is going to tell us what power is being dissipated across each resistor. So uh, we'll race off back to our um, online calculator and um, crunch those numbers and we'll come back and have a look at them look at them okay so we've done our number crunching 126 millivolts over 10.3 ohms gives us 12.23 milliamps of current um, and our voltage across our primary was 1.435 volts times that by our current and our input power is 17.55 milliwatts uh, we had 157 millivolts 
over R2 which is also 10.3 ohms so the dissipated power over that resistor is 2.39 milliwatts R3 which is 98.4 ohms had 1.285 volts um, not millivolts, volts uh, which gave us 16.78 milliwatts being dissipated across that resistor R3 so our power in is 17.55 milliwatts our um, dissipated power um, across our two resistors added together gives us a total of 19.17 milliwatts so our efficiency um, calculates out to be 109.23% efficient so uh, pretty much the same and close to what our scope said on our other test um, so so far we're looking pretty good and gives us reason to um, do a little more investigation into this uh, type of transformer so tomorrow I'm going to start building a larger one and um, I'm going to build myself a amplifier that I can um, drive from my signal generator so we can uh, boost up the power in a larger unit and um, get away from milliwatts and hopefully get up closer to watts and uh, start taking measurements using uh, various different loads so we'll see how we go uh, I'm going to take my time with it make the wraps a whole lot neater than this make the core a lot neater and um, basically get it as good as I can get it here at home alright so thanks for watching um, and that will be it from me on this one until such time as I get the next one built and then we'll have a look at that cheers guys